Shalom. Call hello, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught, taught me this truth and rule well. Salutation and salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you, I say Shalom. To the Akiam and to the Akwaf, I'll be brothers and sisters. Adawan Rataza, that is to say, Lord willing, hopefully by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad from the GMS Miami camp. Back again with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, to feed the lambs of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, as commanded. And this uh, lesson, okay, today is going to be entitled Polluted Land, okay? All right? So we're going to be going into how we definitely need new management because we're in a polluted land, man, okay? All right? And um, what sparked this lesson is I was just uh, going over some articles I seen on uh, natural news and uh, the people's choice. And I pick out uh, two right away, and the spirit got on me to uh, 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 get the definition of, of GMO. All right. So one of the articles is going into um, chemtrails, and the other one is going into fluoride. Okay. So the scriptures say <laughs> the land is polluted, man, and that's why we need to be delivered, man. Okay. Uh, they, 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 they are. Uh, they turn everything upside down, man. The scriptures say, uh, Isaiah 5 and 20, Woe unto you that put darkness for light and light for darkness, man. It's, it's pure confusion they're dealing with, okay? What what what, what the Heavenly Father created and and, 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 and and made good and saw that it was so, you know, saw that it was good, okay? You have mankind trying to change these things, okay? And they, they thinking they could do better when they, they all they're doing is going off. And corrupting everything, okay. But uh, this is the book of Micah, chapter two, and verse ten. It says, "Arise ye and depart." Okay, you got to detach from the system and detach from the matrix. It says, "But this is not your rest, because it is polluted." Okay, and it's polluted in all kind of different ways, man. All right, a man could be with another man. Okay, under their system, and they don't care. They don't. That's okay with that. Okay, but that's it. Ain't so with the Most High, and the Scripture speaks against that. Okay, woman can be a woman. It's okay and fine and dandy with them, but the Scripture speaks against that. All right, and that's how it is polluted, man. And remember what the Lord did to Sodom and Gomorrah. That that if any should ever live 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 like that, you know, you're supposed to remember Sodom and Gomorrah. What 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 the Lord did to that place, man. But a new judgment is coming, the lake of fire. Okay? It says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it will it shall destroy you even with a saw of destruction. So, all right, the way they run this place, okay, the daughter of Babylon, all right, and even around the world, scriptures tell you Job uh, 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. The way they're running it, okay, um, I mean the animals and the trees are grown in man. The scriptures tell you how uh, the, the 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 creation uh, uh, waited for the uh, the manifestation, the manifestation of the sons of God, man. They, the, the trees and the animals are crying out. They they want new rulerships, man. They want new management. Okay. The other day I saw I, I would I think I, I think I saw it on the news or article if I remember correctly where a whale. Uh, a whale sink a yacht, man. He was banging the yacht from underneath the water until he actually sink the yacht. See? <laughs> anyway, let's go to the articles what I got. I got I got a few articles. I'm gonna pull them up real quick. And you're gonna see what I'm talking about, man. Why you need new management, man. Okay? Let's get these articles real quick and go through them real quick. Okay? So I got two 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 articles and one definition. The first article I'm gonna get is let's go here to the people's choice. Okay? This is the people's choice. It says Met Office confirms the existence of chemtrails. Met Office confirms 
the existence of chemtrails. Look at this. See when you look up in the sky? See? You see this? Huh? Now you can tell me <laughs> this can't be good. Okay? It's supposed to have fresh air. Okay? To 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 to, to breathe in, man. Okay? It's supposed to have fresh air. In the kingdom, you're not gonna have this. You're gonna have fresh good air, real air to, 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 to breathe. Okay? But look at this, man. This is confusion. But it says, the Met Office, the UK's National Weather and Climate Service has confirmed the existence of, of geoengineering. We're not going to read all of this. It says, this includes the controversial practice of stratospheric aerosol injection, commonly referred to as chemtrails. See? It says, they claim it's to counterbalance the effects of global warming. Yada, yada, yada. <laughs> Expanding the Earth's albedo through the process of cloud seeding involves the introduction of light reflecting particles like aluminum, barium, strun uh, strontium, and thorium into low lying stratus cumulus clouds. Okay? This geoengineering technique is intended to enhance cloud uh, reflectivity. Mit, mit, uh, mitigating global warming effects by increasing the amount of sunlight bounce back into space. So, <laughs> we're not going to read all of this, but what I can say, you could clearly look at this and look in the sky and see this is not good. Okay? Chem's trail. This, this, this come down, this, this, whatever this is being sprayed, okay, what goes up must come down, right? That's the whole saying. What goes up must come down, man. Okay, so clearly you can see it says Met Office confirms the existence of chemtrails, man. We've been looking up in the sky and been seeing these things, okay? Can't be good, okay? Um, so that, 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 what's, what is that doing to the air? The air that you have to breathe, right? You see? This is why we need deliverance, man. The next article we're going to get is from Natural News, okay? And this is Natural News. Okay, this uh, this uh, article came out um, May 26. Okay, and it says, and let me put a quick disclaimer out there. Uh, copyright uh, Act of 1976. Okay, under Section 107 of the Copyright Act, fair use. Okay, which gives way for uh, uh, commentary, criticism, things of that nature. All right, this is not, okay, this is not for monetary gain. This is just for educational purpose. So my disclaimer would be the Fair Use Act. Okay, fair use, fair use, fair use. Okay, so back to the article, Natural News. It says fluoride exposure. See, fluoride in your water, man. You got chemtrails in the sky. We always bring this up. Chemtrails in the sky. You got fluoride in your water, right? And you're eating GMO foods. You, you're being a, <laughs> on all sides, man. Okay. Everywhere you turn, the other day they said everybody got uh, some some form of plastic in their in their bodies, man. Okay. Okay. So, come on now. We need deliverance, man. It says natural news. It says fluoride exposure during pregnancy linked to behavior problems in children. Fluoride exposure during pregnancy linked to behavior problems in children. See, that's the headline. That's the title of this uh, uh, article here. All right. Now we ain't gonna read. We ain't gonna read all of this. Okay. We're not gonna read all of it, but we're just gonna read the tip of it. It says, um, "New research out of the University of Southern California, US, USC." drives another nail in the coffin of the outmoded and barbaric practice of artificial water fluoridation. Scientists from UC, USC's Keck School of Medicine told the New York Post that children in the womb who are exposed to fluoride via their mothers tend to be born with health problems. You see, the higher the exposure to fluoride, which is in the water, right? 
The higher the exposure to fluoride, the more likely a child is to experience temper tantrums, headaches, stomach aches, anxiety, and, st and, st and symptoms linked to autism, they said. So, I don't even think I need to read no more of this. Okay? But I'm going to read just another paragraph. I'm going to read. It says, Senior says senior study author Tracy Bastine issued the, the, un, the unusual duplicitous disclaimer that exposure to fluoride during pregnancy does not mean that a child that a children I guess they meant child will experience greater neuro behavioral problems even though this is exactly what her paper demonstrated so it's all confusion okay uh, these people are physicians of no value as the scriptures say as a matter of fact time to interject a scripture let's go to it let's grab that let's grab Job okay because when the Lord made the sky he made the sky perfect man okay when the Lord created water he made it perfect man okay when the Lord created food okay he made it perfect what are these people trying to do they just bringing confusion man splicing this with that that's all they're doing man Okay, what the Lord made was perfect, and it still is perfect. The only thing is now, now mankind is corrupting it. But well, this is Job chapter thirteen, and verse uh, four. It says, "But, but ye are forgers of lies; ye are all physicians of no value." Okay, but ye are forgers of lies; ye are all physicians of no value. Okay, y'all make as if what the what the Lord created is isn't good enough. It's perfect, man. Okay. How do you go from an apple having seed or orange having seeds to these things that has no seed? You go in the store, you can't even find it. You can't find grapes with seed in it, bro. Huh? This is bull crap, man. You see? Now, <laughs> let's go and get let's get the definition of, 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 of GMO. We know we know what it is, but we're gonna get it for educational purposes. Okay, seeing that this is a lesson. It's on Google. It says, uh, so, GMO meaning. It says, genetically modified organism. So, it's, it's genetically modified. An, org an organism that is genetically modified. It says, definition, GMO, short for genetically modified organism, is a plant, animal, okay, so you eat, you eat plants like Kalaloo, Right? You know, yard man Benjamin love Kalaloo. You know the Kalaloo. <laughs> That's a plant, okay? Right? Uh, you use the sea moss and these things. They 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 bleach these things. If you buy the sea moss, they they put bleach on it. Okay? It's ridiculous, man. It says, uh, genetically modified organism is a plant, right? If I give you an example, Kalaloo. That's a food. It's a plant. Animal. So you have your different foods. Your, your, your buffalo, your bison. You know what I'm saying? Your cattle where you get your burgers and all these different stuff. What are they telling you now? They got to get rid of these. <laughs> they're, saying, they're saying the cow passing too much gas. Right? And that's what they're talking about. But it's a animal or, mic or microbe in which one or more changes have been made to the, to the genome typically using high-tech genetic engineering in an attempt to alter the characteristics of an organism, see? So they're altering this stuff when the, when the Lord made it perfect, you see? So at the end of the day, man, we need new management, man, okay? We're going to get one more scripture. My lunch uh, break just over, okay? We're going to get this scripture right here, and um, we're going to close it out. All right, this is Revelation. The scripture comes to mind. Okay, Revelation, uh, what's that, 11? Revelation chapter 11, verse 18, because we're going, and, and eventually we're going to get new management. It's, it's written in the scriptures, man, prophecy. Revelation chapter 11 and verse 18, it says, And the nations were angry, and thy wrath has come, and the time of, of so it's like it says, and the time of the dead, that they should be judged and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and to them that fear thy name, small and great, 
and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. Okay? All right? <laughs> so, yeah, man. It's going to be, a, it's gonna be a, a punishment, man. It's going to be a judgment for those that destroy the earth, man. Okay? As a matter of fact, I'm going to get... I'm going to close out in, in Romans, the 8th chapter. I had uh, quoted the scripture earlier, the manifestation of the sons of God, because the animals, the trees, the people, they, they wait now new rulership. And the scripture say, uh, what's that, Proverbs 29 and 2? When the, when, the, when the righteous in authority, the people rejoice, but when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn, man. Okay? And everybody is mourning. The trees, the animals, the people. Okay? Let's get, um, uh, let's end it right here in Romans, the uh, 8th chapter. Romans chapter 8, around uh, about uh, uh, the 20th verse. No, Salakia. The 21st. Hold on, hold on. That's not it. 19. That's it. There you go. Verse 19. Romans chapter 8, verse 19. For the earnest expectation of the creature, we all are creatures. Because we all were created by the Heavenly Father. The plants, okay, they're living uh, beings. The animals, they're living beings. They were created, okay? And we as people were created. So we are creatures, okay? So it says, for the earnest expectation of the creature, so the, every living being, the, the earth itself is a living organism. That's why you have, that's why in the law you have a, 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 a Sabbath, a, 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 a land Sabbath. You're supposed to let the land rest because it's a living organism, the earth itself. It says, um, for the, to the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of God, man. Okay? All right? That's what that's what the earth needs, man, new management. And Lord willing, it's going to come in due time, in due season. Okay? I don't want to have to say we those men. So we just going to stay waiting upon the Lord, man. Clearly, you can see the land is polluted, man. All right? So we need... Uh, as the scriptures say, surely your, uh, your turn of things upside down shall be a stain as the potter's clay, man. Okay? The, the Lord uh, 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 is going to turn everything right side up, man. All right? So I'm going to end it there, Lord willing, you were edified, giving all honor, glory, and praises unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashim, Rekak, with Dash, that by honor to the elders and apostles of great millstone, the top of this truth and rule well. Salutation and citations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth and truth and in sincerity and in charity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. So with that, until the next time, Shalom.